Hey y'all, welcome to Birch Garden, and today is my graduation vlog. I have a nice little fit on. I'm waiting for my photographer. I have my stole here for a look, and I have my graduation cap here for a look. So yeah, I'm not gonna have too much content. Probably just set it up for like a bit of the shoot, and then we'll jump back in with my graduation party. And yeah, bye. Hi. I put all the sparkles in my hand. I have all the sparkles like so in my hands. Like so, I'm just copying her. She's the real. Is it on? Yeah, I just turned it on. Thank you. <laughs> I just turned it on. Right when you said Instagram or a YouTuber, I was like, oh, let me turn that on. Okay. Just added a little razzle dazzle to the street. Look at that. Look, 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 look! I can't even see her. That's a wrap of all the photos my beautiful photographer did. <laughs> she did it! We did it. Full circle. Started from Civic House, now we're here. <laughs> now we're back at Civic House, literally. Thank God for parking at Civic House. No, but for real. Alright, well the next time I'll probably see y'all is at my graduation party. So, bye! <laughs> supported each other through this challenging year. Many of you have also been fighting for racial justice throughout the difficult year we've had. You've been pioneers in reinventing education. Your time with us has been intense, rigorous, and filled with accomplishment. You may have struggled at times, but you have succeeded in finishing your degree during a time of unprecedented challenges, and we are here to celebrate your achievement. Let's get right down to it. The question today, the issue that I want to address, the thoughts that I want to place in your mind are simply these. What will you pin GSC, graduating class of 2021, what will you be when your moment comes? We live in a difficult and unsettling time. Celebrations like this one have been forced to take place virtually or at a minimum in socially distant ways because of a pandemic, because of a failure in leadership that has shaken us to our core. We live in, I go to church that Sunday and my pastor says, this summer, we're gonna preach about callings. We're gonna preach about how fate interacts with your calling. I was like, cool, that's no problem. My calling is in Memphis. I've already picked out a place to live. I even know the model Range Rover that I want, right? Life's going to be good. You can preach about anything you want to preach about. I'm going to Memphis. I come back the next Sunday. The sermon is, don't run away from your calling. Come back the third Sunday. Your calling is following you. The fourth Sunday, every Sunday, it was about calling until... It just got so hot in those pews that I understood that there was a calling that had been placed on my life and fate was calling upon me that moment. And what I have learned since then is you cannot fight fate. You cannot have a reluctant relationship with your destiny. You must run towards your destiny. You must understand the importance of being people who embrace challenges who don't look for the easy way out, who put their gifts to good use in the service of others. Point number two. So as I take my seat, or let me be honest, as we turn off the camera, all right, I challenge you with just this one remaining thought. Who will you be when your moment comes? Thank you. Woo, go Brittany. <laughs> Yes. Miss Brittany.
Hello, everyone. I just want to say thank you all for taking time from your busy schedule to join us in celebration of Britney's graduation. Thank you all. Thank you. Oh, oh, Brittany, I'm so, so proud of you. You are looking extra beautiful this morning, physically beautiful. I can see the glory of God on you, girl. You go, Brittany. I'm so, so proud of my punk kid. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> I look Marshall down PhD next. <laughs> Heather, I don't forget. Heather, you too, darling. I'm so proud of you, Heather. Look at you. I'm so proud of you, girl. Good mother. Happy Mother's Day again. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Auntie. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Auntie Pam. I see you in the chat. Thank you. Hey, Miss Brittany, to your mom. Congratulations, mom. It's nothing. I, I, I just... I look at my daughter, I look at your daughter. I'm, I, I just lost it for words. Um, your daughter is magnificent, wonderful. Um, our kids would not be thriving in this pandemic if it wasn't for your daughter. And I know she's blessed because she has such a wonderful mother as you. Um, God, God bless you both. It's just, this is just so amazing. And know that we are so proud and, and, and just so excited and so happy. Um, so congratulations to you both. Uh, Noah and Noelle are crazy. They're doing their thing. I'm about to take Noelle to dance. Um, I even walked the dog this morning so my kids could watch this because it's so important for my kids to see this, to see this experience, to see what you are celebrating so they understand the importance of all of this, um, even at their young age. So again, congratulations. Um, super, super proud of you. Congrats, mom. I know mom's put in you know put a lot of work into their children and you can only prepare them but it's up to them but congrats to you mom and i'm gonna shut up now but congratulations miss Brittany. thank you <laughs> thank you so much Brit, i just want to say that i love you and i'm so proud of you um can't wait to see you later so we could you know celebrate this awesome win that you have you are a blessing to us all and you are an example to all the little people that you have around you you are an awesome role model continue to be the great person that you are miss um heather thank you so much for bringing Brittany into this world and making her the person that she is today she would not be Brittany if it wasn't for all the things that you have instilled in her congrats to both of you love both of you guys bye, bye. thanks, thanks love you too love you so Brittany, this is patty good morning Thank you for inviting me to this awesome occasion. And indeed, yes, you have been magnificent ever since you were a little girl and showing the gifts that God has given you through great creativity and intelligence. And so what a day, what a culminating event to show the summary so far of your life and it is to be celebrated uh, so enthusiastically and i do so i thank you for showing us this magnificence and uh, being able also to celebrate the magnificence of your mom for all of what she poured into you <laughs> it's a lovely lovely picture that will continue so as god said to be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth, reproduce yourself. And that's what we're looking forward to see, you reproducing yourself in hundreds, thousands, starting with children, and they will do the same as they follow your example. Thank you for being faithful to the dream that God has given you. Thank you for being a persevering person and setting a high standard for others to follow. May that standard never be compromised. And so may Messiah Jesus continue to bless you. May your life glorify him. And so that the blessings that he gives you now will go into eternity. I praise God for you. All right, y'all, and on that note, have a wonderful rest of your Saturday. Thanks again for all that you have done, for being a part of my life and for celebrating with me. I'll see some of you all later. Some of you I won't see later. Either way, thank you.
Appreciate you. You guys are doing great. This looks amazing. <laughs> wow, artist. You know, you see the stroke. You see the stroke? You're doing great. Thanks. Great job. Wow, you guys are doing amazing. Thanks. Nice things happening here. Mom, I love that yellow. Very unique. Everyone else is doing blue. The yellow. She ain't doing yellow. <laughs> Your friend? Oh, yeah. We got some green and blue over from Durante. Baby, this is amazing. Oh, you guys are so good, sweetie. Great job. Wow, I love this. Girl, I see the ombre. I see that. <laughs> 